Hey there Stampers, this is Sherry Roth with StampTreasures.com and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Canada. Welcome to my Friday Facebook Live. Every Friday at 11 Mountain Standard Time, I go live with a crafting project. So welcome. I'm just going to turn on my iPad here so I can see your comments. Be sure to say hi when you get here. Um, if you're watching live, or even if you're watching the replay, I'd love to see who's watching. So be sure to comment. Let's turn the volume off so I don't hear myself talking. All right, let's see here. Good morning, Kim. Okay, let's set this up. All right, so as always, we start with drawing the winner for last week's project. So last week on Facebook Live, we created this using Tammy White's million dollar stamp set. Actually, I think it was $2 million that she hit. Good morning, Sue. Good morning, Shara. Um, so everybody who commented or shared my video got entered. You get five entries. Good morning, Mary Liz, for sharing the video and one entry for each comment that you make. So let's see here. We've got Barb. Barb's the lucky winner, so I will pop that in the mail for her. And Brett won last week's, and I saw her on Thursday, forgot to give it to her, so I'm gonna have to pop that in the mail for her. Okay, so Brett, if you're watching later on, I apologize for that, but you'll get a little gift from me in the mail. Okay, um, let's see here. Today I thought we'd talk a little bit about Paper Pumpkin. I absolutely adore this month's Paper Pumpkin kit. So those of you who are on, actually, um, can you just let me know if you're a subscriber or not? Um, so Paper Pumpkin is our monthly subscription kit. So every month you get a surprise box. We don't usually know what's inside. Sometimes they give us little sneaks, um, whether, whether it's the color combination or little peeks at the theme or something like that. But for the most part, it's a surprise. It's usually cards. Sometimes it's 3D project or a 3D project. Um, a couple times it's been kind of memory keeping related um, but there's so many alternate ideas out there I love paper pumpkin because first of all everything is in the box you don't need really you don't need anything else okay so we've got quite a few paper pumpkin lovers here that's good um, so you don't really need anything else you add on a pair of scissors and maybe some adhesive and that's about it it's great for new stampers it's great for experienced stampers it's great for people who don't have a ton of space and don't necessarily want to collect a ton of product. Um, uh, let's see here, Shara said, I used to be, yeah, that's the thing is if you don't, um, if you don't do the boxes, then you can get, end up with a red box pile up as they call it. But um, yeah, I, the last few have been simply amazing. So anyways, I'll talk a little bit about, more about how you can get your hands on Paper Pumpkin or become a subscriber in a minute. But um, like I said, these are great for anybody. Um, even if you don't, like some people don't like the idea of not knowing what's in a kit, uh, but I think it's great. I love the surprise every month. And you know what, to be completely honest, I don't always love every month. So there is a great Facebook page, a resource page where people post alternates all the time. And um, so if you don't love what they've created in the kit, you can find something online that you will love. And you know, any time where I've put the kit on hold because I've you know, kind of gotten a backlog or I just, I need to catch up on what I've got or I'm just too busy and I know I'm not gonna get to it, I've put on hold, I've always kicked myself for putting it on hold. I've missed some great kits. So anyways, this month's kit is kind of a beachy theme. It's super, super cute. So I'm gonna explain how I'm gonna use some of these cards and then today we're gonna to create a scrapbook lay layout using it. And I've never done a scrapbook layout, a full 12 by 12 scrapbook layout on Facebook Live. So this will be interesting to see how it goes. Um, okay, so I am going to flip the camera around and we'll go ahead and get started. Just bear with me for a second. Yeah, Mary Liz says you need a block and you can take it anywhere. But 
the, if you're a new subscriber in your very first kit, you get a block. So if you just remember to toss that block in the, the box, it's something that you can create anywhere. You can take it to the lake, you can take it to your kid's swimming lesson, and while you're watching, um, you can create those kits. It's fabulous. Okay. Let's see here. Is it looking a little blurry? It's looking a little blurry to me. I hope we're not gonna have problems again. Okay, so what do you get in a kit? So every month you get a box. It is looking blurry. Oh, shoot. Okay, well, let's hope that clears up. Okay, so every month in you get a box of goodies and inside the box is you get colored photos here and then you get just brief step-by-step -step instructions on the inside. Um, and then it gives you what's included in your kit. It gives you the coordinating Stampin' Up! color. So if you want to add things in and make alternate projects, it tells you what you need. Um, Mary Liz says she took hers to Mexico for thank you cards for the staff. Yes, it's perfect for that type of thing. And that's one of the ways that I'm gonna use this month's kit. And then you get a bunch of stuff. So it's gonna change from month to month, but you will always get a stamp set and this month it's kind of got some beachy themed images and some great greetings. You always get at least one Stampin' Spot and over a 12 month period, you will never get two of the same colors. So every 12 months, they, or they, um, they have a new color every month for 12 months. So if this month we got Coastal Cabana, we won't see another Coastal Cabana ink for 12 months, okay? And then you will get Oftentimes you get mini glue dots and dimensionals or dimensionals. Um, so there is some adhesive often included in the kit. And then you get whatever you need. So in this month's kit, we got a spool of linen thread, which we're using. So the focus is popping in and out. I'm just wondering, I don't, you know what, I'm gonna try something and I hope it doesn't disconnect. If it disconnects, please reconnect with me when I go back on live. I'm just gonna move the screen up and I'm gonna see if I can change. Okay, let's see if that's any better. Did I lose you guys? Are you guys back with me? Okay, let's see if this, <laughs> sorry, it's getting a little dizzy here. Okay, let's see if this is better. Okay, well, that's good to know that I can do that and it's not gonna cut you guys off. Okay, all right. Um, so this month we got the supplies to create 16 little adorable note cards. Let me show you, let me show you the note cards here. So you can make four of these and look at these adorable little envelopes. So that one, here's another one. You are amazing. I did a lot and thank you so much for the reason I'm going to use them for. And then this one. And then you get this cute little pouch that you can put them in and then gift them. Or even you can use this, you can make them all, tuck a few in here put them in the pouch and put that, those in your purse and you can leave them when you go to a restaurant or wherever it is that you're going. They're the perfect little um, little treat to leave for somebody. Um, so yeah, they're great. I plan on using, my husband and I are going on going to Italy and on a Greek Isles cruise in a couple weeks. And so I plan on making up a few of these to leave for um, the couple Airbnbs that we're staying at and then also for our staff on the ship as little thank yous as well. So super cute and I love that they're beachy themed. So that was included in the kit enough for 16 and then everything is pre-cut and scored for you. So all the envelopes are pre-cut and score or sorry the all the card bases are pre-cut and scored for you. All of the little pieces are die cut, so you can pop them out. So we got two sheets of these leaves, two sheets of these little banner tag things. One of them has like a wood grain kind of look. And we've got these glitter die cut starfish and sand dollars. 
And then we got a couple sheets of these die cut palm trees as well. I've used one full sheet already. Um, and there's always leftover pieces so that you can keep creating alternate projects afterwards. And then the stamp set, of course, you can keep using over and over and over as well. Okay, so that's what incl is included in this month's paper pumpkin kit. So how can you go about, if you're not a subscriber, how can you go about getting that? Well, first of all, I'll post a link. Um, if you're watching the replay on YouTube, I'll post a link in the description below. Otherwise on Facebook, when I go for the edit the replay, I will post it above. So you can subscribe month to month. You can put it on hold if you find that you are having, getting a little bit of a pile up or a backlog, or if you know that you're gonna be away, or if you just want um, to take a break, you can put it on hold. Um, for any number of months. The cost for that, including shipping right to your door, is $30, and that's in Canada. Um, you can also purchase prepaid subscriptions, and there's four different options for that. You can get a one-month subscription for $28 plus shipping, three months for $82.50 plus shipping, six months for $158, which saves you a dollar a month, and then there's shipping on top of that, and a 12 month subscription for 300, which gets you, gets, which gets you one month for free. Um, and those last two options, the six and 12 months, those both qualify for, uh, well, hang on, that, that's not right. Uh, the last one qualifies you for a stamp and rewards. All right, um, so, that is a great option. There's shipping included on those last four options, but I love the month to month option. And I always encourage people, you know what? You have to give it a try. So if you're gonna purchase a prepaid subscription, three months is the way to go. Um, unless you know, unless you already love it, then of course the 12 month option is the, definitely the way to go because you save the most money and you get the rewards. But if you're just trying it out, I always encourage people try the three month subscription. You have to try three months to give it a fair shot to see what you think of it. Okay, so I will post all that information in the details below. Let's see here, let's catch up on some comments here. I've been talking so much. Hello, Amy, she loves this paper pumpkin too. Um, yes, I agree, Mary Liz. She says the leftovers take the pressure off newbies um, if they make a mistake. And yes, Amy, I agree. Stampin' Up! has outdone themselves with the kit this year. Um, there's been some amazing ones the last few months. And hello, Barb. Welcome. Okay, so today we are going to create a scrapbook page using this month's kit. So I am going to start with a white 12 by 12 base, which if you follow me and you look at my scrapbooking, I almost always start with a white 12 by 12 base. That's just kind of a phase that I'm going through right now, I think. Okay, and then I've got a piece of Sahara sand cardstock and it measures four inches by 12 inches and we're gonna create some sand. So I'm just going to take it and I'm going to tear it. And I don't wanna tear it straight. I want it to be kind of like a hill. Okay, so kind of like that. And then this piece, let's see here. This piece I might use as well. I'm gonna see here. And then I've got a piece of three inch by 12 inch uh, soft suede, soft suede. And I'm going to tear this piece as well. Actually, first, before I tear that, I'm going to give this a bit of sponging. Hello, Andrew, welcome. So I'm using Sahara sand and a sponge. And just to give it a bit, of texture and just a mention I'm just gonna sponge this a little bit the sand is not all the same color okay and then I'm just gonna take my finger and curl that up just a little bit give it a bit more texture I'm going to add let's move this out of the way so I don't get adhesive on it I'm gonna add a little bit of adhesive just to the top bit of this because what I wanna do is I want to kind of follow the same, same tear line. Let's do it. 
about like that. And then I'm just going to follow that same tear line. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Does anybody else like tearing or does it scare you? Okay, because this is darker and I'm sponging with a lighter ink, I don't really need to sponge this one. I guess I could if I wanted to, but. Okay, so we've kind of followed that path. Now what I'm gonna do is I want a little bit, another layer of that Sahara sand. So I'm just going to tear off these ends so they're not quite so jarring. And then I'm gonna stick that on there. Let's sponge this first. <laughs> Mary Liz says it's getting less scary. <laughs> yeah, if you're gonna tear, you you can't expect perfection because you can't tear. I mean, unless you have that, remember years ago we carried um, that tear tool. Does anybody remember that? Has anybody been a demonstrator or been around Stampin' Up? long enough to remember that little tool. Okay, so we have a bit of this Sahara sand poking up there. Okay, so now I'm going to stick that onto the bottom of my white so that we've got our sandy base. here Sherry okay all right so we've got our sandy base now we're gonna do something up here so when I saw that this kit included these adorable little envelopes I knew just what I wanted to do so I've taken I'm gonna use four of the envelopes so two in each color and I'm going to quickly just sponge around the edges. You're gonna see me sponge lots today. Okay, and that one's gonna go there. And then we'll do, I probably could have pre-done this, but that's okay. Oh, Kim, you still have your tearing tool. Okay, that's gonna go there. So we're basically using the envelopes to create little pockets for our photos. That one's gonna go there. And then this one, I'm gonna cut off the envelope flap. So let me grab my paper trimmer. So this one, I don't want the flap on it. So, but you definitely wanna save that. Oh, I think I need to replace my blade. You definitely want to save that because you can use this wood grain DSP. You can cut out that those little images and add them as accents if you wanted. So let's just fix this. Yeah, I definitely need to change my blade here. Okay, so we clean that up a little bit. I'm gonna sponge that. Oh, I'm doing the wrong side. I want this wood grain side showing. Okay, so we've got both sides sponged on this one. We're covered. Okay, and then this is gonna go on here. So let's go ahead and stick this down. We're gonna stick this one down first. I want it to go about, does that look like it's the center? like that. Shara said that for one kit, she loved the print on the inside of the envelope, so she ended up cutting up all the extra envelopes for some, oh, and then it cut off for some DSP. Yeah, so for, yeah, exactly. I do that often, and sometimes they include the envelope liners. Oftentimes I won't use the envelope liners for envelopes, I'll use them for something else. It just stretches the kit even further. Okay, so I'm gonna, Put that about like that. So like 
that. And you'll notice that I'm not putting a ton of adhesive close to the edges. And the reason for that is that will allow me to tuck things in here and there where I see fit. Okay, so that's gonna go right there. And I'm not too worried about that space in between because I'm gonna have something sticking in my pocket anyways. Okay, so now we've got that. Now I've gone ahead and cut mats for my photos. So I don't have photos for this yet. This, this I'm gonna use this for my trip. Um, when I come home, I'm sure we will spend at least one day on the beach. So these mats are three by four, just plain whisper white. I've gone ahead and I've sponged around the edges using the Sahara sand and I'm gonna tuck them in these three pockets. Good morning, Anna. Okay, so just like that. So those will be for my photos. Now, depending on the photos that I have, um, you can put multiples in here. So I could tuck, if I have lots, I can tuck a couple photos in there. And then what I would do when I slide it into my page protector, I would put a slit right here in my page protector so that these photos would sit on top so that people could pull them out and have a look at them when we're flipping through the album. And you don't have to slide the whole page out. So that's how I would do that. Or if I don't have multiple photos, if I just have like kind of one in each pocket and depending what's on the bottom, I may be able to just put them up a little higher and it would just cover over um, just the bottom part of the photo. So you could just stick them on like that and maybe add this one up like this and you'll see what I'm, how I'm gonna decorate and stuff to accommodate all that in a minute. But, so those are some suggestions if you're not, if you want to include more photos or if you're unsure on how this kind of a layout would work. Okay, so that, those are just some ideas. Okay, so now let's do, let's do what we're gonna put in this pocket. So I'm gonna slide this out of the way for a minute. And I am going to take this card. So this is one of the little cards that came in with it. Um, and I'm going to trim this off grab my paper cutter again because I just want to use the front oh that cut a bit better that time so this I can turn around and save and use for something else oh it still needs to be trimmed still got that little those little shreds on there okay all right, so we've got that, and I'm going to decorate it kind of pretty close to how it was intended to be decorated. So we've got in the die cuts this little tree image with the sand, the palm tree with the sand. And look at how different this looks when you add this on. So you add that on and it just completely changes the look. I just love it. So you couldn't really tell, it just looked like two shades of blue to begin with, but then you add that on and you can tell exactly that this is the sand, the water and the sky. I just love it. Okay, so we've got that card and I just noticed this is a little long. Let's trim that off. I've got a piece of white that measures two and three eighths by three and five eighths. I'm just gonna sponge around the edges. And then this is gonna get stuck onto this. And Amy said that's a fav favorite card in the kit. Yes, I like that one too. And then I've got another piece of Sahara sand. This one measures two and three quarters by four, sponging around the edges. And then we're going to use this as our base to this piece. So we'll add adhesive on here. Okay. All right, so I'm going to leave it like that and slide it in here just like this. So I'm not gonna stick it down, and what I'm gonna use this for is, well, I have, it depends on, my, again, on my photos, but I can use this as a journaling card, so journal on the back, 
and I may add you know one of those little tags that I showed you that with the kit and add some some sort of word or saying or something that's kind of relevant to the photos some sort of beachy saying or something like that so that's going to tuck in there and that could include my journaling okay so now we'll bring the full layout back in and we are going to start with some embellishments so i've gone ahead and from the stamp set i have used the starfish image and i stamped and cut out i stamped them in the terracotta tile so one of the new in colors i stamped out three of those so let's start with adding those on here. I'm gonna use a mini dimensional on the back. And we will pop him right about there. And then I've got one of the shimmery sand dollars. We're gonna add a bit of adhesive on there, tuck him under here. So can you see how it benefits not having added adhesive right close to the edge. Good morning, Alice. Good morning, Tammy. Um, so this allows me to tuck things in and not have to worry too much about it. And then in the kit, we have this little, where's my little pouch? There's this little pouch and inside there is a sheet. Well, there's several sheets actually where you can pop out the coral. And then on this side, there are these great pieces and you get lots of them. Okay, so I've got a piece of vellum coral here and I'm gonna use one of the mini glue dots that comes in the kit. For these, what I like to do is I like to use a mini glue or a paper piercing tool and just pick it off and then use my paper piercing tool to peel off the backing and then this guy's gonna get slid under here like that and then we're gonna take another palm tree this time it's just one of these palm trees so just a simple palm tree and we're gonna pop a dimensional on the top and just a bit of regular adhesive on the bottom and it is gonna get tucked in right about there. I think I wanna move this over. There we go. So we've got one little cluster made. Uh, Mary Liz says lots of people are using the coral template as a, stance, as a stencil once popped out. Yes, yeah, I've, I noticed that this morning too. So people are popping all of these out and using them and then using the negative space as a little stencil. Um, and it looks really nice. Okay, so now we've got that. Now let's work on, let's do another little cluster. So I've got another coral, piece of coral. And I'll add another mini glue dot in behind. And then this is gonna get tucked in over here because we need a little something over here. And then I'll add another starfish over there. And this time, one of his legs is gonna get popped in behind. Just like that, so it looks like one is covered with sand. Okay, now let's work on a cluster right here. So for this one, I'm going to use this little image and this is gonna go on here. So what I'm gonna do is just put a bit of adhesive across there. Stick that on. We're going to add another palm tree on here. And this time I'm gonna use dimensionals here and then also part of a dimensional on the stem because we want it popped up all the way. right off. Let's just get the backing. And that is going to go on here like this. 
clip out like that. So I'm being very careful what I'm paying attention to because I don't have my photos. Um, I'm making sure that anything that kind of overlaps here, I'm making sure that there's not adhesive on there because I don't want to stick anything down to this white piece. I want to be able to pull it out so that I can add my photos. Okay, so those are the little things that I'm kind of keeping note of. Okay, so now I'm going to take one of these little leaves and I'm going to add just a bit of adhesive. <laughs> I put the adhesive on the wrong side. Okay, that's okay. It'll be covered over. Now it's stuck to my desk. Okay. All right, so I just added a little bit of adhesive to the base of the leaf. And I'm gonna put that on there. And then I'm gonna add one of those glittery starfish. I'm gonna tuck this under here like that. And then I'm gonna take one of these tags so I chose one of the just plain white ones, not one of the wood grain ones, just because it's gonna overlap this with this wood grain envelope. Sponge around the edges, just to soften it a little bit. And then this is gonna get popped up with dimensionals. And again, I will add words once I know what photos are going in there so that the words kind of fit. I couldn't really find any good sayings that were kind of beachy and generic, so. I thought I'll just wait and maybe I'll write something in afterwards. So I'm just gonna pop this up right there. And then remember we got linen thread in the kit. So I'm gonna use a piece of that. And again, use a mini glue dot, just stick it right on the corner here. Peel off the backing, add this on. Okay, so now let's do a title. I am absolutely loving this new alphabet set, or um, the dies. It's, it's called, I think it's letter letter pressed prose, something along those lines. And it's kind of got a scripty look to it. I love it. I have been using it on all of my layouts since I've gotten it. Um, so I've gone ahead and cut the title, which, or part of the title from it. And so, of course, it's gonna say beach. So, and they're meant to be used kind of at a slant like that. So because I'm going over the top, what I'm gonna do is I'll start with by adhering, I think. Let's see if this works. Yeah, I'll start by adhering the A and then work out in either direction. So let's do that. I'm gonna add some, I'll use Tombow to stick it down. Actually, let's line it up right with the edge of the envelope, bottom edge. Okay, and I'll do the C, and I might have to do some tucking with the H. So and I'm trying to keep it at the same slant. And then do the H. And we'll just lift up these palm tree leaves and I'll tuck my H underneath. And then we'll go back this way. Hand lettered pros, thank you, Mary Liz. I didn't jot down the name. Normally I try to remember to jot down the name so that I have them. All right. Okay, so there we've got part of our title. I didn't want it to just say beach. I wanted it to say something else. So I thought beach day. Um, and then I was looking through my stamp sets and my framelits and I didn't have anything that was current that was the size that I wanted to do the word day. So I got a bit creative and this is kind of the size that I want and I love the font of this. So I thought I could just use this, just the day on the birthday. So that's what I did is I've got this mounted. I'm going to take my markers or my Sahara sand marker 
and just ink up the day. I'll give it a huff and then I'm gonna stamp down. Now this is nerve wracking. After I've completed so much of the layout to stamp right on the background. Oh, that worked pretty good. Okay, so the thing when you're doing this type of thing is you want to make sure that your stamp is really clean. If you are only inking up a portion and you're stamping on something like this where you can't just throw away, um, throw it away or flip it over if it doesn't work, uh, make sure that your stamp is really clean, huff on it a couple times, stamp on scrap, just to make there's, sure there's no ghosting on there. Because if I hadn't done that before, um, or made sure my stamp was clean before I actually stamped on it, even though I just inked up the word day, I could have seen like some ghosting of the rest of the, the words. So you really wanna make sure that you get your stamp really, really clean before you do something like that. It's different if you're just, <laughs> Shara, that gave me some anxiety. <laughs> uh, yeah, it is kind of nerve wracking, but I knew that the stamp was mounted straight and I had done it already, so I was pretty confident. And you know what, sometimes you just have to go with it. Um, but yeah, by, do, by making sure that your stamp is really clean and making sure that you've checked, you can kind of eliminate any of those foreseeable problems that you can. I mean, sometimes it, it would end up crooked. You know what, it ends up crooked. It doesn't nobody's going to notice that they're going to see the pictures and how pretty the layout is they're not going to notice that you stamped something crooked that's my opinion anyways i don't think i would notice it if i was flipping through somebody's album okay so we're almost done we still have this one starfish and a couple other little pieces that i pulled out so let's do another cluster and i'm thinking kind of right up there so let's see we've got um another piece of coral use a mini another mini glue dot and again I'm gonna be careful where I stick it so it's just got a mini glue dot right there so it can go up above because this is still accessible you can still pull it in and out hello Shelly hello joy thanks joy thanks Shelly okay and then we'll add our little sand dollar our glittery sand dollar that right there and then our last starfish <laughs> Mary Liz said she needs to go on vacation just so she can make this layout I know it's fun hey all right there we go so we've got another little cluster and I can still access all of these pockets all right so for those of you who joined in a little bit late um, I was mentioning that I did this layout so that I'm planning on going on holidays in a couple weeks. Um, and I know that we will spend some time on a beach. So this is for those photos. So right now it will hold three photos, but it could hold more. So I was saying that you could add a couple photos into each of these pockets. Um, and then when you put it in your page protector, instead of having to pull out the whole page to access the photos, you can just do a slit in your page protector so that you could easily slide out the photos to have a look at them without having to pull out the whole page. So I will make sure once I have pictures added to this, I'll share a photo so that you guys can see what it looks like with pictures as well. But one lucky winner will actually win this next week. The only stipulation is that you kind of have to be local because I'm not gonna pop this in the mail um, because it, it's 12 by 12, so it's not gonna fit in the best packaging. Um, and it'll cost a fortune to mail. So that's the only stipulation is you'd have to um, be local and be willing to come pick it up. So, all right. Um, and I also, the other reason I did this layout is because I am releasing a class later today and it's my second in a series. It's called the Let's Get, Get, or Let's Get series. And this class is called Let's Get Scrappy with Multiples. And I am sharing creative ways to incorporate four or more photos onto a scrapbook layout. Um, so all of that will be, all the information for that class will be posted later today. And um, I'm really excited about it. It's an online class, so you can participate, doesn't matter where you are, you can participate in it. And it, 
the first one in the series was called Let's Get Sketchy and it focused around sketches. So in that one I gave 11 ideas and different ways to use sketches and it's I've had lots of positive response for that. So I I think this one will be just as good. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you everyone for all the love and thank you. I will we were going to have a fabulous time on our vacation. We can't wait. Um so yeah, have a fabulous weekend and I have one more Facebook Live next week before I leave and then I've got lots of greatness um, for you guys that will be scheduled for while I'm away. So you won't even know that I'm gone. All right. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching guys. Take care.